All right, hello everyone. Welcome to another Sippy and Dom reacts. We've got a whole load of trailers for you today. Um, the first one that we're going to be looking at is Hyper Light Breaker, the sequel to Hyper Light Drifter. Um, if you haven't heard of the previous one, I'm going to ask you where you've been the last five years. But um, <laughs> how, how? I think it must how have do been. You not know. I think it must have been given away by hum from Humble Bundle about eight times since uh, its inception. And I, I definitely have a copy of it um, through Humble. Maybe I also got a copy of it through Twitch. So I'm pretty sure Twitch also gave it away. Yeah, yep, they did. And and didn't it? Get, wasn't it also on Game Pass? Yep, it was on Game Pass as well. Um. And there was all the clones to Hyperlight Drifter as well. There, it it did set a bit of an indie trend for a while. Um, that kind of like top down, eight bit, you know, slashy, hard, difficult style of game. Didn't they yeah. do the game with the arrow? The kid with like you just had like one arrow and you had to fight monsters all the time, like giant bosses. Uh, that was Titan Souls. Yeah, and uh. Titans Souls. I don't think that that was Heart Machine that made that. Okay. Um, no, that was Devolver. Or Devolver. Not Devolver. They that did. Devolver was the publisher. Who the fuck was the Acid Nerve? Uh, they they definitely they've made a new game since then. Um, Titan Souls. Uh, but anyway, I digress. Anyway, this is Hyperlight Breaker. As always, join us in. Give us your actions in the comments below. Um, and uh, let's see what this is all about. I'm I'm playing the new one. It's Death Store. Death Store. Oh, of course it is. I'm an idiot. I really like the anime. Oh, Gearbox Publishing. They do everything recently. I love the anime like... I'd watch a show like this. There's been a few games that have done like this 80s, 90, eight, late 80s, early 90s style of animation to their trailers. And I fucking love it. Dead Cells is one and of I'm, them. Dead Cells is one of them. Um, there was this other like... Sword of Time, if I remember, was the name okay, of the game. Yeah. Um, and I I want like every single time I see it, I'm like, I want this as a show, and I never get it. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Oh. Oh, is this like a clip of pre-alpha footage? Yes. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, let's have a look at that pre-alpha footage again. There we go, <laughs> the brief segment. Okay, so they've stepped away from the 8-bitty goodness. Um, that's very interesting. Yeah, so um, what they did is they did that in-between game. Um, I'm trying to remember what the name of, of uh, the last game that they did. I wanted to play it, and I never got Is that the one where you skate, maybe. like it was like Jet Set Radio mixed with Hyperlight Drifter? Yeah, it uh where is it? Solar Ash. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. It was it was like take Hyperlight Drifter, Jet Set Radio and like Shadow of the Colossus and smash them all together. Yeah. And this is what you got. Um so as I understand it, they're taking the the um what they have learned about uh 3D game design. Yeah. Through through their experience in Solar Ash. And they're applying it to the Hyperlight Drifter universe. And what makes that especially interesting to me is like Hyperlight Drifter universe was like almost intentionally vague. Yeah. Like it, there was some kind of lore there for sure. But like we're not talking about uh, 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 like Dark Souls. The lore is there. You just have to find it. No, this shit was like intentionally vague and, and way, way kind of out there with tons of fan theories about like almost everything in the game. Um, so how are you building a new game within that universe? I'm hoping that they'll like maybe give more more understanding to what the hell is going on. Uh, in the quote-unquote hyperlight universe. The other cool thing about this is it's multiplayer. Oh, I didn't want... I was going to ask that because I saw a group of people at the end on the trailer, and I was like, does that mean you play multiple characters or is it multiplayer? 
It is play alone or with friends to explore massive biomes, defeat brutal monsters, create new builds, survive the mysterious crowns, and overthrow the almighty Abyss King. And this adventure from the creators of Hyperlight Drifter. I'm reading this directly from uh, Heart Machine's web webpage. Okay, so I'm. My theory on this is that this is just a game in the Hyperlight uh universe rather than being a hyperlight sequel because they've gone from like the thing about hyperlight drifter i always remember was it was iconic 8 bit 16 bit whatever bit it was and that that in itself made it very unique and drew me to it whereas if this is just a 3d game with hack and slash elements i'm like well what is what's so great about this are they, are they gonna really invest you in the hyperlight universe is that what it's about you know is this essentially like you know the the world of diablo equivalent or whatever um you know you buy into that but rather than the you know how they've done the stylism and all you know go, going from one game to the next because like <laughs> I, I i'm way more interested in a cool indie 16-bit game than just yet another top-down hack-and-slash style game. Um, but these are very, very... Uh, these are all assumptions, and they are big assumptions at the moment because at the moment all I've got is like three seconds of someone's ass walking down a 3D street at the moment to make yeah. my assumptions on. And, and uh, I mean, it looks to have uh, like that kind of sort of shell, cell shading ish with with the the hard defined edges to the character model um yeah so like but also very like muted tones in the in between space so not quite that same like uh, uh borderland style cell shading so it's it's interesting choice of shading and yeah. stylization that they're doing here um, I don't know where your freeze frame is, but mine has like the giant pyramid in in the uh, far off distance. Like you can see that coming down from the sky. Yeah, and that's... that seems like almost pixelated by comparison to yeah. things. So so maybe it's just going to be like that would be kind of a cool like perspective based thing. Those things that are much much further away get more and more pixelated. Yeah, I mean that I I have also well not really worried but like i question like they're saying oh this a massive world and you can play it with your friends and stuff as far as i'm aware these guys haven't done a multiplayer game before um and as we've seen time and time again where indie studios tend to fuck up is they try and create multiplayer games and they generally are for the most part fucking terrible like i can count on as they we were counting last week on our hands how many games have successfully launched in the indie scape as with with good multiplayer, multiplayer. yeah it's, yeah it yeah it just seems well, to be such a common collapse and but there there is some upside to this though um they're no longer being published via devolver uh they are being and even if they were like now they're being published by gearbox so <laughs> like they they have some more a little bit more oomph with the the publisher that's behind them um, but even if they were still with Devolver, I mean, Devolver was involved with Fall Guys, and Fall Guys is one of the very, very few successful indie multiplayer games. Um, so, like, what, what basically what I'm trying to get at is, is, like, they're aligning themselves with the right people within the industry. By aligning themselves with Gearbox, like, that, that should help them with the... Uh, with the whole multiplayer aspect. Did Gearbox uh, get bought up by Epic? Yes. Pretty sure they did. Okay. Um, still, but, I, uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, I, I thought I was crazy as I was thinking this, but it turns out, nope, definitely right. They aligned themselves with Gearbox. And what was I saying just earlier? Man, this art kind of <laughs> looks Borderlands-esque. I was yeah. like, there's hmm. no fucking way. I'm remembering this correctly, right? Like yeah. Gearbox does Borderlands. Yeah, well, Gearbox does Borderlands. So, and they do one of the the multiplayer games that we've actually been able to successfully do. So, mm. hopefully, wow, oh my god, what if this turns into Borderlands, but 
in Hyper Light Drifter. If wait and say, I mean, I would so hate that. I would hate every ass. I love them as two separate entities, but smashing the two together, like making Hyper Light Drifter less like a skill based, difficult RPG style game and more just like everything shits out guns and swords <laughs> and upgrades all day long. Um, and it's just like mindless, stupid fun. It would be mindless, stupid fun, sure, but I would be like super, super upset with Heart Machine for not like staying true to their style of writing and their. But don't do that, Heart 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 Machine. Well, please. Okay, there we go. Heart Machine won't do it because Sippy has asked very kindly. Um, there we go. Let us know what you think in the comments below. That has been Hyperlight Breaker. Yeah. <laughs>